the words move like like that and my my brain tends to kind of make words up because I'm trying to catch them. That's me, Jay Blades. I'm one of over 8 million adults in the UK who struggle to read. The only way I can explain reading, imagine giving yourself a headache and it's just like, oh, it's pure pain. <laughs> this is how I would have the pictures. <laughs> At 31, I was finally assessed as dyslexic. After half a century of not reading, it's time to give it a go. Got the reading ability of 11-year-old is what they said to me. Try a different word, babe. No, tree is cool, man. Let me just... Probably messed up quite a lot not being able to read, and it's, it's quite a sad thing, really. Yeah. Sat. I love that you're doing this. Even when you say it that way, like, sat. That's hard for some people to, to go back to that basic level. Listen, I don't even remember going to that basic level, so this is all new to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't read that well, so I just get people to read stuff for me. So I've taken a hospital letter that I knew was an important one into the street because I had no one at the house. I just said, oh, can you read this for me? And they read it for me. You, you miss a lot because you can't read. You... These colour filters seem to reduce my eye strain. They stop the words swimming around. This is, this is the one. OK, so let's say you've got that. What, what happens? That, what that does, see, like, now, mm -hmm. they're like this, they're moving, yeah? OK. Go like that, look, and they keep still. Oh, see that? amazing. No, I don't see it right now. They're all still for me, with or without the colour. <laughs> that's, so, that's bloody so, amazing. So you can read them normally now? Yes, I know. Bit of plastic. So if you'd have had that in school, everything would have been so much easier? Yeah. Wow. I never told no one at secondary school that I couldn't read. There wasn't any support to say, OK, we can see you've got, like, a, a reading um, problem. Let's see if we can put you to one side and we can work on this and do this and do that. Nah, there was none of that. They just said, yeah, cool, you're dumb. And as you're dumb, that's it. That's all you're going to muster to. OK. And I remember my careers teacher saying to me, Blades, you're going to amount to nothing. Next, and that was it. If I was able to read, I think I would never have ended up in the situation that I'm in or the situation I was in. First time? Yeah, yeah, first and last time. I'm shocked to learn that half of all prisoners in the UK struggle to read or can't read at all. Where I was brought up, there's a lot of criminality. And for me, I know a lot of people that have ended up here. Have you seen the, the effects of someone learning to read? Like, it's, it's made a change. Yeah. Teary when they've been able to read a letter from their uh, child at home. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah, very good. So, how old are you? 25. You I can't was. read? No. How come you couldn't read? Was there no opportunities for you then to, like, learn to read? Yeah, there was opportunities when I'd get that one-to-one -one and then you've got other people kicking off in the class. I would always get angry and frustrated. When I got to a certain point, I would just walk out. Why do you want to learn to read now? Because, obviously, I've got a little boy myself. Yeah? I've got kids. So one day I'll learn to read a book for them. Once you're here learning all this, is it going to be a change? Yeah, a lot more change. It's going to be completely different. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I like to hear, man. I've never read a bedtime story at all. I was there when all of them were born, but Zola's the one that I live with from a little baby. And that's the time that you read stories to your kids and stuff like that when they're little. And I never did it with Zola. She is the one that I need to do this for, to show her that you can achieve something and also show myself. I was never able to read to my kids. Today is my first reading lesson online. A few deep breaths, yeah. Yeah. chill. Sitting in the car, I hear the sound of the sea. Ditch. Yep. Let me get yep. this off. Catch, catch. Yeah, catch. well done. We don't say fix it, we say fixed. Yeah, we say fixed. There yeah. You go. Well done. <laughs> this is this is mad, you know. This is like <laughs> to chat to chat to me. Get She's you. Out of bed to chat to me. Get you. I'm so pleased for you, Jay, because you are really just getting it. So how do you feel? You feel ready? I'm definitely ready. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel I can read this. Yeah. How you doing, girl? Good, yeah. I tell you what, I've always loved this book and I've always made up stories and I've never ever read it. This is Olivia. She is good at 
lots of things. Olivia gets dressed and has to try on everything. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum and Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you too. Nice. Very nice, isn't it? But well done. That was so good. I can see the progress. Yeah, I'm really Thank proud you. of you. Thank you, baby. Love you, and I'll speak Love to you, you soon. Too. All right, take care. Bye. Oh, bye. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I should be proud. I am very, very proud. It's a milestone. i tell you what the best thing is. The fact that he's now reading, he's different. It's almost like, like it's taken a weight off him. I'm very proud of you. That's very kind of you. I'm pushing myself, really, to go all the way, basically. Yeah, I'll continue it, definitely. I will continue it, because I've got to do it. End of story.